Hey everybody, real quick, I wanted to share with you just a couple quick tips about our email to start this calendar year off. Now, one of the cool things about Google is it offers us five different inbox choices when it comes to this. And right now I'm using one that's called the priority inbox. And I'm gonna walk through all five and let you know about the five, share a quick pro and con and my opinion about each of them, but then you'll be good to go from there on out, right? So here we are, I'm in my inbox. And if you go to the upper right-hand corner where the gear is, what you have is this settings gear right? Click on the settings and I'm going to go to settings once again, open that up and I'm going to look for the tab across the top that says inbox. Once I click there, I have a drop down menu with my five options. These five options are default, important first, on red first, starred first, and priority inbox. Just to walk you kind of through them real quick, default inbox is likely the one that you've been using. It's characterized by the tabs across the top that say promotions, social, and um, update, right? So you have your regular inbox and then you have those four. Now that's really helpful because it kind of sorts out some of the clutter that may come into your inbox. Um, and it's really cool to have that kind of be placed in an area where you know that it's gonna go and that when you need to check, it's gonna go there. Now, it does this based on the sender, based on past behavior with those messages. So sometimes messages may be placed in an inappropriate tab. And you can click on that message and drag it to the appropriate tab if you need to. And that's kind of teaching the machine to do a little bit more learning there. That's your default inbox. What's cool about it is if you have your Gmail, it's going to show you the inbox messages that are in your regular inbox. It's not going to show you anything else. And that goes for notifications on your phone. Again, sometimes the messages may be placed in the wrong one. The next one is important first. So Google's going to take our actions and what we've done before with important first and it's going to mark items that they think are important for us, all right? So that's going to put a, an area on the top for important first, and below that is going to be all your other messages. Now, what it does is it sees whom you email and how often you email. It tells you which emails you frequently open, which ones you frequently reply to, and ones that have keywords that you usually read, and then which emails you star, archive, or delete as well. And it's going to decide based on those characteristics which ones are important. The next type of inbox is on red first. On red first is incredibly simple. It is emails, regardless of the type or importance, will be placed in your inbox with your newest emails on top. All emails will go into this central area, which is really powerful in making sure that you see everything that's coming in. But that means that you see everything that's coming in. And sometimes there's a lot of emails that you don't need right away. So that's one of the downsides of the unread first. Next, star. Google allows us to mark messages with flags there. There's stars in this. You just click on the star that's next to it. And all of a sudden that is there. The default flag is that star. So there are many different flags that you can choose from. And that's a different video, a different lesson. If you have questions, don't hesitate. But what that is, is basically you can mark those messages as they come in. And then using the inbox, it'll move the messages that you have starred to the top. Really powerful here because you can set up a to-do list or a need to respond to list um, that you want to kind of work with when you need to. And on the flip side, everything else is down below. And it's kind of letting you kind of see that. Finally, the last type of inbox is the priority inbox. The priority inbox combines kind of all the other ones before. So it takes your important first, your on-red emails, your star emails, and puts them into one solid view. So the important on-red are going to be on top. Important is going to be next on-red, and then starred will be there, and then everything else after that. And what's really cool is you can control how many it shows for each one and lets you kind of really control what you're seeing and make sure that you don't miss anything. When it comes to notify notifications, like on your phone or something, it's only going to show you those priority ones first based on your interactions. And I think it's really powerful. It's the one that I frequently use um, as my inbox as well. So I hope this kind of explains what you want to do. I encourage you to play around with it and see which one works for you and kind of practice and see what is there that you want to use in the future. So if you have any more questions about your inbox, stay tuned. I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about Gmail over the next couple of weeks. But on the flip side, feel free to reach out and ask questions if you have them. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.